All right, here we go. I'm about to set up my first ever coyote trap. Never done it before. Have a mild idea of uh, what I'm doing. Kind of, sort of, not really. But I do know that you want it on a trail, uh, kind of like a logging road or something, and you want it kind of in a Y where all the traffic travels through. I do know that. So here's what I got. Yo, I don't know if y'all can tell that's a logging road right there. It goes right through here. Okay. Right where my four wheels are sitting. And there's a Y in the road right here. You can kind of see it. It comes out, comes through here. Well, I've had my deer camera on one of those trees over there uh, probably a week or so ago, and I got a picture of a coyote We're walking right down this trail. So I'm going to set this thing up right in the Y of this trail, somewhere right in there somewhere. I'm going to use that little clump of grass probably for part of my setup. And here's trap, hammer, driver, sifter, all that stuff. I'm going to get my gloves on, get the camera set up, and we're going to get started and see what happens. All right, so get all my stuff over here. And again, this is my very first ever, 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 let me say that one more time, ever, uh, setting a trap for coyotes, okay? So I did get some coyote uh, lure, I think this is. Stanley, Hallbaker, and Son. Hallbaker Coyote Special 200. Um, they didn't have the bait in the local farm store. Um, I wanted what they, they had a, a little placard there on the shelf that said Coyote Bait. 500 or something like that that's what i wanted they were at it so apparently it's popular i don't know but they only had two or three jugs of this stuff again this is called coyote special 200 made by hall baker a little jug of lure okay i have a chunk of raw deer meat from a deer i killed that i'm gonna put down in the hole as well so um get my gloves on because i know just from watching other videos that I tried to call me, sorry. But uh, I do know from watching other videos that it's big on scent, that is huge. So, and most everybody wore these gloves in the video, so I'm assuming that's okay. And again, just to reiterate, I have a logging road coming down this way and a logging road coming behind me, so I'm kind of in the why, okay? And what I'm gonna do is, a guy, I watched a guy do this little setup, which I really liked. All right, so, anyway, get my gloves on, like I was saying, for scent control. And again, everybody I watched use these little cheap kind of gardening gloves or whatever. And the method I'm gonna use, and I might be saying this wrong, is the, the V-out method. I don't know if that's exactly what you call it. Um, but I, So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a hole back here at a at an angle, okay, and then I'm gonna dig out side to side at a V, make it look like something was down in there digging another dog, or maybe there's a rat burrowing down in there or something, something's burrowing down in there, and I'm gonna dig my bowl out just a little bit where I set my trap, okay, and I'm gonna put this lure on three sides, so he kind of has to come in here, and maybe he'll go from one side to the other, sniffing, and keep him in this area longer, so hopefully his foot. Hits the center of the trap and sets it off. That's the goal. So, without further ado, let's get started. We're just gonna kind of dig a little hole right here. And no, I don't have my official trap setting hammer that everybody uses. Uh, I have all this stuff on the way. Okay, I've ordered a ton of stuff off of Minnesota trapping. And this dolph, uh, dolph this dirt is fairly soft. And as you notice, there's leaves and stuff around, so I'm going to kind of blend it in. I'm going to sprinkle leaves and everything. There's a big time about your setup and what it looks like. They are apparently, coyotes are very particular animals about the area and what it looks like and the setup and all that stuff. All right, so here's where my trap's going to be, right here in this little, we'll put my trap right here, kind of in the center almost. Take it down to some good solid dirt. All right. Then I'm going to take, I don't have a fancy drill like everybody else does. So again, I'm just, just beginning. So for you beginners, 
hey, I'm your guy. So I'm going to start off digging a little bead out trench like that. I'm going to take this loose dirt. I'm going to pile it up behind it. Okay, make like a like a dome or a bowl shape and make it look like somebody, some, some kind of animal or critter or something has already dug down in here, right? That's the goal. And I'm going to start a little hole because I don't have I don't have one of those fancy drills to drill down in there. So all right, I kind of halfway and I want it to look scuffed up, you know, like there was an animal there, you know. And you want to take time I, from watching videos and stuff. I do know that you want to take your time on setting these sites up. You don't want to just throw it down there willy nilly and hope you're going to catch something because you probably ain't, you know. Anyway. I'm going to take my little set spike at an angle and kind of wall the hole out at an angle. And I want my hole pretty big because of the way I'm setting it up. I want it to look like an animal's got something stuffed down in there or maybe there's still a little critter down in there, you know. But I want it to be fairly deep because I want him to have to, he's going to have to investigate down in this hole in particular. This is going to be my main hole. Anyway, so it's about that deep, probably 13, 14 inches deep down in there. And I'm going to take my bait here in a minute and stick it down there when I get done. That's going to be probably the last thing I do. Okay. And again, I want it to look like a little critter has kind of scratched and pawed and everything. I want to pile all the dirt behind it. So it looks like a mound, like a critter might even be in there, you know. And then I'm going to take a set of my trap right there. And I'm talking like I know what I'm doing, but at the end of the day, I have just watched a ton of YouTube videos is all. All right. Well, give me just a second. I'm going to get my trap, get it open, and we're going to set it in place and start bedding it in. All right. So I got it open but you see how high that that pan is well this one has a has a secondary little trip deal little notch on the setting or whatever i'm gonna reach up under here and i'm gonna hopefully you'll hear it click hmm. that's kind of scary <laughs> all right Do it with my dog on hammer because I don't want that thing to pop in my hand again. I'm very, very new with this. We use a little stick, but it's going without it going. All right, there it is. So now. That sucker I'm talking about, it won't take, it won't take nothing to set it off. It's got a little secondary trigger deal, uh, wedge in there. I don't know how to say it, okay? Y'all bear with me. I don't know what I'm talking about. All right. But I do know that this thing, that's what I'm going to stake it in the ground with. And it goes down in straight. And when you pull it back up, it turns sideways like that in the ground. That's what holds it in there, okay? Got a little short chain. I don't have a great big long chain like a lot of the others. And I'm going to put this dead in the center. Okay. And I'm going to try to bury it up almost to all that cable that is connected to this little point deal. Okay. And this is called, all the stuff I got is Duke. Duke stuff. I don't know if that makes any sense to y'all. 
But anyway, see how that goes on the spike? Like that on the driving spike, I'm going to put it dead in the center of where I want to bed my, my trap at. Okay? I'm going to hammer it down in there. Just about all that cable. Because obviously we don't want the animal getting away with the trap hooked to his foot. Alright, so about right there, and you pull your stake back out, and your spike stays down in there. Now again, it's about that far in there, so I'm going to say that's at least 20 inches or so down in the ground. Something like that, okay? Alright. Clap my gloves. See, it probably ain't going to work very well. Again, my first time ever, I literally have zero clue what I'm doing, okay? Very, very beginner. But I do know... Then I want my bait down the hole in front of it. I'm going to put two lures on either side. So I'm going to put my bait in front, two lures. That way he has to stay here, or he hopefully he'll stay here and smell around each direction and get his foot caught in there. Hopefully. That's the, that's the plan. Oh, yeah. I didn't pull this. Make sure. Oh, yeah. She's in there. So what that did was is turn that, that little spike. It turned it sideways so that they can't pull it out. I almost forgot that minor detail there. Which would have been bad and again like i say i know just from watching youtubes and all that stuff you want to bed this in really really good you don't want it to go anywhere this is like your make or break uh bend it in apparently that's like the key to all this is bedding this thing in you don't want it to shake or go nowhere And you don't want any, any dirt up under that pan, obviously, to get in the way of the pressure. A lot of people would take, uh, you know, some kind of cotton or something like that and uh, put up under that pan so that it, it'll, so the dirt can't get in there. Okay. And you want that thing rock solid. Oh, yeah. She ain't moving. That's what I wanted. Okay. And I've heard that, that like, like I say, that's your, that's your money right there. Just making sure that thing is rock solid and it don't move. Okay. Which I've got it there. And then you want to take your sifter. And you want to kind of sift it in because you want it to be natural looking, right? <laughs> See, I'm brand new. My dog on sifter accidentally hit that thing. <laughs> now I gotta start over. Dang on it. <laughs> hey, I'm telling you, this is gonna be an adventure for both of us, for y'all and me. You know what I'm saying? And I'm telling you the truth, cat daddy. <laughs> Hey, that's cool, though. All right, we got it set again. Oh. Got to do that little safety deal. And you see how I'm reaching up under that one? That loose one? That way, if it does snap, it don't snap on me. Let's see if we can hear it click. There it is. I'm getting better at it. See? Just this first time. I'm getting better at it. Already. All right. Let's try it again. Hopefully, this time I won't hit it with my pan. <clears throat> that coming. Oh, I'm trying to hurry up so that I can get in the deer woods, y'all. Trying to go deer hunting, cuz.
See how a lot of that dirt getting up on that pan. Can't hear that. Like a dumb out sticking my hand under there again. Y'all see that? Yeah, get all that dirt. Up under there. I will use be be using cotton balls next time. Like the rest of them folks. This is from what I have been told, this is the most important part. You don't want your trip to move at all. Okay. Alright, I think that's good enough. Yeah, I'm out of breath, Chloe. Alright, we're going to sift her again. Just a little bit. Mess around, pop my finger again, ain't I? Or pop that thing off again, ain't I? <laughs> What's your pan to be? All right, we'll see just a little bit more. I uncovered it a bit too much, I think. We're going to leave it like that. I mean, I don't know if I'll catch one on this set or not, but we're going to give her a nice go. You know what I mean? Like, good college go. All right. So we got that. We're going to kind of maneuver this stuff around so it don't look so suspicious. And here in a minute before I leave them, take some of these leaves and kind of sprinkle it around, make it look legit. Back in here and dig it back out some more. Again, you want it to look like some kind of little critter. And I know you want to take these clods, they say, and kind of place it around to direct the coyote to go where you want it to. All right, so now these are going to be my lure holes. One on that side, one on this side. I sound like I know what I'm doing, don't I? But I don't. If I get something out of this set up, it will be a miracle. All right. Got that cleared out. Got that hole down in there about a foot. This hole here, about a foot. Got my trap set in the center. It's kind of a, a pivot where he'll have to Gotta get that dirt out of one of that pan. Well I will use my dog on uh what you call it. my um mm, cotton ball or whatever up under that lever next time i can promise you that i can see where that be a pain in the booty all right so now we're gonna take our lure which again is just some uh Paul Baker Coyote Special 200. And I'm just going, I know some people take a Q-tip or whatever and put it on there and put it down in the hole. I'm just going to dab some down in there. A little bit down in there. A little bit down in there. That ought to attract him that stuff. 
That stuff is foggy. I'm gonna take my little chub of raw deer meat. No more. I think it got a bit much. It don't take much, I don't think. I'm gonna take a chunk uh, about the size of a quarter probably. And I'm gonna get it. Take a stick, poke it down in that hole all the way to the back, because that is your main deal. You want him to have to look, scratch, stand around. All right, I got that down in there about six, eight inches, ten. I'm about to put that in a Ziploc bag somewhere. That smells rough. Dab some of that down in there. All right. Then when I get the whole setup done, I'm gonna take the camera and I'll show y'all the whole setup. Hey, we may catch something. May not, I don't know. Again, my first ever, ever. Oh, I almost forgot. I also got some of this coyote urine. You're just supposed to sprinkle it around your set when you get done. It makes it smell like a coyote's already been there, apparently. I guess, I don't know. We're gonna figure it out, y'all. Take my hammer, my little thing. <coughs> now we're gonna kinda set everything in, make it look all natural. Take some of these leaves and just kind of break them around like that, just mainly so you can't see the trap, you know what I'm saying? I can smell that stuff, man. Whew. That's raw. All right, so. Here it is. Okay. So. Got the pan right there. I don't know if y'all can see it or not. Got the pan right there. Got my bait down in that hole. Got a lure in that hole and a lure over there. And the idea is he walks in and he sniffs and smells around until he steps on that center spot. So we're going to come back and check it. I got, I'm off for the next three days from the fire department. We're going to check it every day for three days. Keep adding to it. Y'all stick with me. We ain't going to catch something we ain't, but we're going to learn together. <laughs> Coyote trapping. Oh, what do you call that? For dummies. There you go. Y'all have a good one. Man, I almost forgot. I almost left without putting this coyote urine on there. I'm just going to kind of, it says sprinkle and go is what it says. It ain't that strong. It don't smell, but anyway. I don't know what I'm doing, but that was a little bit. It looked like a lot, but it really wasn't. Don't have much of a smell anyway. But, all right, there it is. Now I'm going to get out of here and go get in that deer stand. Y'all have a good one again.